That's right, Johnny and Tracy. Police say that that 16-year-old is in stable condition and that this could have been much worse since those two children were inside the home when the shooting happened. I came in last night when I seen all the police and everything. So yeah, that's actually scary. This afternoon, neighbors near Cliveden and Magnolia Street in East Mount Erie were shocked to hear what happened just before midnight. Police say a 16-year-old was shot twice inside an apartment on the first floor of this building. Investigators say the teen was babysitting for two family members, a five-year-old and a seven-year-old girl. They were both sleeping on the couch when police say someone knocked on the door, was let in, and fired at least six shots inside the apartment. We're very, very lucky that those two children, ages five and seven, were not struck by gunfire because that's where the shots were fired. We spoke with a neighbor who says his fiance was home at the time of the shooting and she heard the shots. I seen those kids outside pretty much, you know, having fun and everything, looking out, having fun even inside, looking out the window. So mm -hmm. that's really scary to even know that it even happened ne near the kids. Across the street, another neighbor was also woken up by the commotion. <laughs> I heard somebody shout and I heard a car pull off and I just sat there and waited, made sure my boys were okay. And I know. He says although the neighborhood is usually quiet, it is still impacted by the gun violence crisis in Philadelphia. They never find out who do, you know, unless it's something brazen, they never find out who does stuff. You know, the kids won't talk. They know what's going on, but they won't tell you. And that is exactly what police are trying to figure out. Who opened fire? They are relying on surveillance footage from the cameras outside of the building. They are trying to see if these cameras captured the shooter going inside the building and coming back out. Live from East Mount Erie, Shaira Arias, NBC 10 News.